Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. We're going to analyze what's going to be three days of severe weather in the deep south. We have storms ongoing as we head through the remainder of our Tuesday. The risk for tornadoes, gusty straight line winds, and flash flooding rains are taking part right now as we speak. Now, a even greater risk of some very potent storms, including strong to violent tornadoes and very damaging straight line winds will be in the forecast for Wednesday. That looks to be the most volatile day. We're going to go over that as well. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at that day three risk as we head into your, well, Thursday as well as the system spreads off to the east and maybe even parts of the Ohio River Valley being impacted. Let's get started with a look at what we have going on on that radar right now for the day today. We do have ongoing thunderstorms and some just developing in parts of central Texas, north of Austin, north of San Antonio, that line there. We have an ongoing flash flooding storm with wind threat and there is a tornado watch in the Nachitosis area. The basically exiting Shreve Point now on towards Ruston and Monroe. These storm systems are quite strong in the traveling to the east. Tonight's risk of severe weather is in this area here. It's the greatest. That's an enhanced risk or a level three on a five level scale. So we could have a strong tornado or two, but wind and flash flooding rains will be the main threat from these storms as they work their way off to the east. More on this in just one moment. But what I do want to point out is that the risk does continue as we go into your Wednesday. And it starts first thing in the morning. These storms will be ongoing into the overnight hours. And as we take a look at the severe risk, as we go into your hump day on Wednesday, you're going to notice something. We have a moderate risk of severe weather in around Jackson, Mississippi, Hattiesburg. As we look down towards Baton Rouge in Louisiana, we have that risk of severe weather that is in the moderate category, a level four risk. Now, what does that mean? Here's what that means. We are going to undergo that risk with all of the energy in the atmosphere and the spin in the atmosphere for some very intense straight line and damaging winds. But we could have not only strong but violent tornadoes with these as well as we go through the day. So the deep south, the Gulf Coast states, including Louisiana, Mississippi, on into Alabama, is where the greatest risk does preside for that kind of activity. Back to the national radar we go. And again, I want to highlight here the risk of tornadoes as we go through. So where you see the reds here, this is a area of 15% risk, and it is hatched, I might add, which is a significant severe risk. It does include New Orleans, Baton Rouge, uh, all the way down to Mobile and Jackson as we go through the uh, region, Hattiesburg in that risk area as well. So there is a 15% risk of seeing some strong tornadoes in the air. In the yellow area, that's a 10% significant severe weather risk as well. Now that's the tornado look at where the tornado risk is the greatest. So if you are in these areas, Please take heed and know that the risk for tornadoes will be with you from the morning hours on your Wednesday, not afternoon where it typically starts, but into the morning through the midday and afternoon hours. And it will continue eastward as we go through the night. This is a look at the wind threat. And this hot pink color you see here is not good. This is an area where we have a risk, a 45% risk of significant severe in these areas. It's very similar to the tornado risk area. But what we're expecting here is that potential for these cluster of thunderstorms to produce downdraft winds that will be in excess of 80 miles per hour, causing some significant downed tree potential, power outage potential, and of course the flash flooding that rainfall often does bring with these particular systems. Okay, back to that national radar. Let's take a look at the hail risk and where that's the greatest. Notice this extends all the way up into central parts of the Arkansas area near Pine Bluff as well. So we do have ongoing thunderstorms right now. These are producing some flooding rain as we head into our Wednesday night. Uh, uh, or Wednesday morning, I should say, much of the activity we see here forming in Texas and through Louisiana is going to persist into the overnight and the wee hours of your Wednesday morning, bringing that risk of severe weather. Here is this evening's risk. As we go into the rest of our evening here, notice the area circled here. This is an enhanced risk. That is a level three on a five level scale. That includes Austin out towards Tyler, Texas, and then Dallas, Fort Worth, all the way down into parts of Victoria and Houston are in a slight risk for severe weather tonight on this Tuesday night. Those storms are now firing as we cross through the five o'clock central time hour, uh, the Austin area, uh, east of San Angelo, 
north of Fredericksburg and heading in towards the Alano, Texas area. So storms are a firing in Texas and it looks like the most active of the three day period is going to be late tonight and into the morning hours as we go into your Wednesday, persisting all day Wednesday. Now, what about as we head through Wednesday afternoon and into Thursday? Let's take a look at this. Check out the day three risk for Thursday for severe weather. And we once again are going to take note that there is going to be a risk shifting off to the east. But we have this northern branch where we could see everywhere from Cleveland, Ohio, Akron, all the way down into Columbus and Cincinnati getting severe weather. And there is a slight risk of severe weather from Charlotte and Columbia, all the way down into Augusta, Georgia, Jacksonville, Florida, and much of North Florida as we go through your day on Thursday. So impacted areas for that slight risk will be shifting off to the east. I want to get a look at where the forecast is showing us the greatest risk for storms and a little bit so you can track the timing. But just know this, we're going to have a very complex setup taking place. We have ongoing storms on Tuesday. Some of those will persist overnight in a complex we call a mesoscale convective complex that will trek its way from Texas and into parts of Louisiana into the wee hours of the morning. So we have a Louisiana activity on this Tuesday night, but there's more on the way from Texas that will arrive in the morning and there will be a risk for potent weather all day on Wednesday through parts of Louisiana and spreading eastward. Let's get to a look at one model's forecast here and I'm going to take a look at a USA view so you can get the broad perspective here and this will give us that view of the timing and track of the intense thunderstorms working their way through. A couple of things to keep in mind. Models are definitely something that change regularly so this is an early look at the track and timing and with the complexity of this system you can bank on changes. I'm telling you you can bank on changes to the track and timing of these with the ongoing convection tonight that will impact tomorrow ac activity on Wednesday. Here we go with the storms as we go through around the midnight hours, which you're looking at here, exiting through northern parts of Mississippi into Alabama. Those could be very windy, very wet, flash flooding, gusty straight line winds will be a risk. But as we go through the morning hours, look at that low in southern Texas down near Brownsville. That is the energy that will punch its way up. And now you're looking as we go into the five to seven o'clock in the morning time frame. It's it's on the hill out in the hills of Texas, out heading into parts of Louisiana with strong to severe thunderstorm potential. That thunderstorm potential and the tornado risk will be quite evident as we go through the morning hours, working its way through Louisiana and into parts of Mississippi, through the Delta and into southern Arkansas. So there's going to be an, an, an enormous amount of shear with these systems with this particular model run. Now we'll zoom in and take a closer look at the impacted areas in the deep south. We're going to start first with our activity on this same model as we take a look at what fires up overnight here in Texas. Moving through Houston, that's when your severe weather risk will be there in the deep south part of Texas and the Gulf Coast states. We're talking about basically here looking at 3 to 5 a.m. So you're going to wake up to some morning thunder. Now, here we go. The intensity of the upper level support with this system does increase as these cross into Louisiana. A couple of points on this. You're going to see this backward C shape here indicating that risk for gusty straight line winds is evident. And in this area here near the low pressure center and out along these discrete cells that form in southern Louisiana that will quickly race to the north, these storms here will have the risk for being potentially potentially quite strong and tornadic as well. So ongoing flood, hail, and wind threat. And this is literally as you're getting up to start your day. This continues to trek its way, way eastward. We have this very large backward C shape to this cluster of thunderstorm cells here, moving into parts of the Mississippi Delta on the border with Northern Louisiana and Mississippi and Arkansas. As you go down south toward the Delta, we have this, what we call a triple point down here, and this area will have the enhanced spin. So that spin will stay along this uh, Ala Alabama trek towards Miss from Mississippi into Alabama and out of Louisiana here. And that will track eastward as we go through the day and into the afternoon. What you see on the backside of this system is not the main severe weather risk, although there could be a couple of strong thunderstorms here. They'll be marginally severe. The main event will happen early and then shift off into parts of the panhandle of Florida and off to the south and east. I'm going to shift this view over just a pinch so you can start looking into the areas of the panhandle of Florida, Alabama as well, as these move out of Louisiana. And what you're going to notice is the low pressure center way up to the north with the with this area right down here. That is going to be that area where I highlighted in red from the Storm Prediction Center, where we're going to have that spin in the atmosphere. So we're looking at areas near Jackson, 
Mississippi, and Point South. Now, as this moves off to the east, and now you're looking at a time frame that's in the evening hours of your Wednesday, and you're going to see this system pushing its way off into parts of Georgia as well. So that is when the risk makes its way into Georgia and into Alabama. And that is a look at what looks like a very stormy Wednesday across the deep south. So if you're in the deep south, just know this, you have a three-day event going on here that's going to bring waves of weather on this Tuesday night. Wednesday looks to be the peak where there is a moderate risk of severe weather. Those are usually only issued a handful of times during the course of a severe weather season across the nation. So it's not common to see the Storm Prediction Center issue those. And that means have your weather information uh, ready to go. If storms form in your area, review your severe weather plans and know what you can do to stay safe. My name is Hutch Johnson. I am a meteorologist with 26 years of broadcasting experience. And I can tell you this, there's a lot that can change in these models as we go through. So this is an evolving situation, but keeping you well informed is the number one key. I hope this video has done just that. Drop a line. Let me know where you're watching from. I like to know that. Stay safe, stay informed, and check back in with me regularly. And if you would mind, subscribe right here to Hutch's Weather. Hit the little dingle bell at the bottom of the page there, and you'll be notified when I am going live.